I'd begin just by encouraging people to read the Bible for themselves and ask, does this book have the ring of truth? For me, it has the ring of truth in five different ways. One, as I consider Genesis 1 as an origin text and how it's unique to all other texts like it, and it's the way it aligns with modern science, for example, and with human nature. Two, the reliability of the transmission of the Bible over time. It's uniquely close to the original text. Three, the ring of truth regarding prophecies that have been fulfilled, such as Isaiah 53 or Psalm 22. These graphically depict a crucifixion centuries before a crucifixion was even invented by the Romans. Fourthly, the ring of truth as we consider the unique symphony or coherence of the 66 books of the Bible. There we find unity and diversity. It's written by nearly 40 writers in three languages, Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic, representing people from three continents, Africa, Europe, and Asia. These people are writing and living in times of peace and prosperity, as well as war and violence, times of racial conflict, classist oppression, gender oppression, times of both exile and homecoming. Fifthly, the ring of truth is there in its description of the real world and of the human condition as we know it. Our strange mix of love and hope, of greed, of broken hearts and families, of pride, and of hope in God's great story of redemption. The Bible isn't some sanctimonious religious text. We have enough of those. But a mosaic of accounts of the history and future purpose of the creation, including the human race. It's our treasure map. It's too good to be false. The Bible appeals to all we are as human beings, made in God's image, with creativity, with will and emotion, with memory and conscience, fallen and yet desiring redemption.